what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel as you can see we've got the gto up on the trailer behind me because we are finally heading to the dyno for those of you that are new to the channel this is a six speed manual gto it's got the ls2 in it stock bottom end with a set of 823 heads and a brian tooley racing stage three blower cam as it was supposed to be an lsa car originally but we decided to go with a pro charger we are currently running a d1 sc pro charger which is a little bit smaller than than what we would like to have on this car and we are maxing it out we are spinning it over the max recommended rpm for this blower and we're still on pump gas so we're definitely gonna have to step up to a bigger blower at some point but we want to see what it's going to make with the d1sc maxed out like i said we are on pump gas but we are spraying a lot of water methanol so let's get through the intro and jump right into today's video Right, guys so we just got out here to the dyno so we're gonna go ahead get this thing fired up unloaded warm it up and get it strapped down to the dyno keep going Let's uh, head on over to the dyno. All right guys, so we just got out here to stole belt. We're getting this thing strapped down on the dyno and we're gonna make a few practice runs, see what this thing settles in at and then we will go for it and see what it makes. Don't forget we are on pump gas. We are spraying methanol, but we're gonna test with the inlet pipe that came with the Pro Charger and the filter, see where it lands and then go from there. Right, guys so this is me coming to you from the future we were on the dyno yesterday and we were just running around like crazy had a couple little issues with the car which we will talk about here in a minute but I didn't have as much time in between each run to film like I would have liked so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of the backstory after each run so that you know what was going on behind the scenes First off, I want to say with this first run, we were just trying to get the load on the dyno dialed in and also get me comfortable in the car because I've never driven a stick shift car on the dyno before. So the first run was kind of just a warm up practice run that we learned a few things on. The car did pick up a little bit of knock, so we sent a file off to the tuner and he got back with us and uh, sent me another file to load into the car to try on the next run. But we also found that the car was kind of shaking in the rear end a little bit. We didn't make a full run or try to make a full run on that first pass. 
but the car was definitely still shaking and as you guys will see that kind of plagues us throughout the rest of the day but we still were able to make some killer numbers which you guys will see here in a second but before we get into the next run i just want to say when we first got there he pulled up a dyno graph from a couple weeks back when he had another gto on the dyno it was a heads cam intake car that car made 348 horsepower on his dyno so use that as reference for what we were making because when we got there he said hopefully my dyno doesn't break your heart so we were kind of expecting to make some pretty low numbers so let's get into run number two and start seeing what this thing makes All right guys, so as you've seen, we just made pull number two and we were having issues with the car shaking quite a bit. So we had to back out of it super early to try to figure out what the issue was. I ended up lifting at like 4,700 RPM, but even lifting that early, we still made some pretty good power. The car made 598 horsepower and 674 foot pounds of torque, which I was absolutely pumped with. I did not think this car was gonna make much for torque at all. And we were also getting close to our horsepower goal right off the bat, even with me lifting at 4,700 RPM, which was absolutely awesome to see. So we had to try to restrap the car, move it around a little bit and see if we could figure out why this thing was shaking. And then we went ahead and tried for run number three. So after we made run number three, again, we had to abort early due to the shaking. At this point, we were really starting to rack our brains trying to figure out what would cause this thing to shake. We had the car pulled down pretty tight to keep it from moving or spinning the tire or anything like that. So we wanted to go ahead and try changing our strap points to somewhere else on the body instead of uh, the suspension and try to get it to sit a little bit differently to try to get rid of the shake. But again, even with aborting that run, the car made killer power. Uh, we did have to lift very early at that one as well, like 5,500 RPM, but we had a little bit of tire smoke from it rubbing, which is what made us want to change our strap points. We also had an anomaly with the dyno where it had like a dip in it and then shot back up. So the horsepower and torque number from there are kind of skewed, but if we look at it before the uh, anomaly happened before the dip in the curve happened. We were making right around 640 horsepower and uh, similar in torque. So we wanted to rerun the car after we restrapped it and see if we could get the shake out of it and go for a run number four.
All right, so we just made run number four, and sadly, I had to lift early once again. So at this point, I'm getting pretty frustrated, but then we took a look at the dyno, and that kind of cheered me up a little bit. This thing, even lifting at 5,300 RPM, made 687 horsepower and 708 foot-pounds of torque at 4,900 RPM. So this thing was ready to make some steam, and it's pretty cool to see that we are hitting our goals before we could even rev this thing out, where the intake manifold and the blower are really gonna shine in the higher RPM. So seeing them come to life and make almost that 700 horsepower mark with only being able to run it out to 5200, where when this thing is running right and no shake, we should be able to run this thing pretty close to 7,000 RPM. So I was super excited to see the power that it was making, but this shake is gonna drive me nuts. So we've got some things that we wanna check on this car. We wanna check the drive shaft. I might try changing out to my other set of tires and see if maybe because we have such a big radial on it and the car squats and comes down, it might be nicking the fender just a little bit, causing this really weird shake. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it almost feels like a basketball dribble and it just progressively gets like faster as the RPM and uh, wheel speed go up. So really frustrated about that, but we do have some things that we can check out and try to get figured out so that we can get this thing back up to the dyno and see what it's really gonna make. Huge shout out to Stolbilt for letting us use his dyno. Uh, super cool dude, I will link him in the description below. If you guys are in the Norwich or Connecticut area in general and you need to rent out a dyno, Go ahead and hit my boy up. Uh, he also does a bunch of tuning. I know he does a lot in the Honda stuff, but I think he does some LS stuff as well. So make sure to hit him up. As always, guys, I appreciate you for checking out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we will catch you on the next one.